the, the, the people of the free state. Indeed, Bongiwe. South Africans really think about the pain and grief that uh, families go through, particularly when it's a high-profile individual, high-profile politician that uh, has reached his untimely death in times like these. A great grief being shown by his daughters. Just uh, his uh, son, Junior, who was a bit funny, who was a bit jovial, but also got very emotional when he was speaking about the plans they had with their father about him coming back back to the Free State Province and assisting in the education sector of this province, which Tate Mahwe, Dr. Tate Mahwe took as MEC in 2009, taking the province from 66.8% metric pass rate across the province and taking it to 88.5% and being the number one performing province within the country out of the 10 districts across the country the free state getting about eight of the best performing districts across the country and being number one totally across the country those whom were mourners at the service of dr tate mahwe spoke about the healthy competition between Gauteng and also the free state province within the education sector you heard the likes of anc secretary general figi lambalula saying that the anc national executive of committing in the 2019 list conference at the Coastlands Hotel in Durban had to intervene when the free state leadership had left Tate Mahwe out of the province to province deployment list to the provincial lecture and brought him back on the virtue that he was the best performing MEC within the country and did not see any reason why he should not be lifted from the very bottom of the list and in a higher up safer position for him to make it into the provincial legislature within the province. Figil and Balula saying that they had to stop the mediocrity that was being sent to the ANC's National Executive Committee of the Free State Province in that deployment list in making sure that Dr. Tate Mahwe makes it into the provincial legislature and in 2008 2022 last year in the announcement of the results earlier on this year the free state once again bagging the number one spot of the most and the best performing province when it comes to those metric results and uh, some gonna very briefly let's of course uh, talk about uh, you know some of uh, you know what uh, the, those who were in attendance would have said and you think back even to just after news of his death broke we saw the the premier talking about what a difficult road ahead it's going to be for the province now especially Especially when you look at just how you know his passing really comes at a time that no one really saw coming his person comes at a time when Ulisi Dukwana the premier of the province is going to be reshuffling his cabinet next week uh, Tuesday tomorrow you're going to see the swearing in of new members of the provincial legislature such as Dibula Lomachat the deputy provincial secretary Sifigil Mbalula the secretary general of the ANC saying that he is in constant communication with the provincial leadership and the premier of the province as to how he's going to compose his provincial executive of the province saying that even if uh, Tate Mahwet did not meet his untimely demise he certainly knew that he was one of those MECs who were not going to be removed from the uh, from the provincial government and ultimately as the MEC of education in the province saying that he is ultimately the best of the best of the African National Congress and it's going to be big shoes to fill for whoever comes in as MEC of education saying that they as Mwenisi Tukwana as the premier of the province has to choose very wisely and choose people with competent skills in order to continue with the legacy of Dr. Tate Mahwe that he has left in the education sector of the Free State Province and ultimately of the country. One of those whom we were engaging with yesterday, Dr. Zamani, saw he was ultimately saying that this effectively means that South Africa has lost a future minister of higher education, of basic education, rather, Bongiwe, in the form that should May Njumutaka not return as the basic education minister next year Tate Mahwe was one of those individuals who could have taken the baton and moved the education sector 
further knowing that Panyazalu Sufi is now the premier of the Gauteng province. And of course, uh, it's going to be interesting to see some of those uh, changes, Samgele, especially when you listen to just how they talk about renewal, they talk about service delivery, and how it's going to be a focus now. Let me thank you for your time. That's uh, Samgele Masego, our senior political reporter. Let's move on to this. Amazulu um, King, Misuzulu, Gazuelitini.